Hi, I'm Bobby Matos. I'm the executive chef for Ford Fries Restaurants here in Houston, and I'm a 2019 Star Chefs Houston Rising Star. Um, here at La Lucha, uh, what we, we try to do is kind of tie in your, your Gulf Coast cuisine, but all the different ethnicities that's involved in it, and you know, keep it really casual. You know, it says chicken and oysters on the, on the wall, and that's really what we focus on. I don't think I've ever worked in a kitchen that didn't have a Vitamix blender. It's just an essential tool that's, you know, as we go through and write our, I guess our small wares purchasing for every single restaurant we open, you know, the, obviously a Vitamix is the integral part of that process because it's something that you have to have in every kitchen. You know, there's always options that are cheaper and that don't work as well and they break and you have to replace them. So for us, it's a, it's a better purchase to get a, a Vitamix because we know the last and we know what they do and how they work and, and we've all grown up using them. Today I'll be using the Vitamix VP3 to make our Texas Shrimp Toast. The uh, Texas Shrimp Toast is a dish we had when we opened at State of Grace, something we've kind of recently brought back. The dish all starts with the most important part being the, uh, the shrimp, and the, we bring in the best shrimp we can from uh, local waters here in the Gulf, and that makes a big difference in the dish to us, flavor-wise. You take your shrimp, like I said, Gulf shrimp if possible. Uh, you basically start with a, a puree, uh, then you have, you know, you bring in all your kind of Asian ingredients, so your, your ginger, your lemongrass, garlic. There is actually a little bit of paprika in there, some cayenne for a little bit of heat. And then I like to finish with the rest, the, the other half of the, the chopped shrimp. And if those don't really puree really smooth, it's not a big deal. A little texture is actually pretty cool and, and looks nice and, and gives a little more texture to the dish. What's cool about the Vitamix blender is that you can add textures to it as you go because you have your you have so many different variable speeds plus you, you any your your turbo speed as like we call it in the kitchen you can start with that smooth paste get as smooth as you like or chunky if they, if, if it really floats your boat and then you can add in your your all of the rest of your ingredients and you can smooth those out or you can finish with the the, the chopped shrimp at the end and get that smooth as well if, if that's the texture you're going for or you can just pulse it through and keep some bits and pieces per se we use a lot of chives at all of our restaurants and there's always you always have like a certain percentage of waste you know the, the tips you cut off so when you can get them nice and fine and then the ends as you get to the ends you know they get all different sizes so you usually throw those away so we like to save all of our tips and ends and just make a simple chive oil throw them in the Vitamix and it's usually whatever you have um, so for chives is like a quart of chives uh, to half that much in oil. Just dump it all in there uh, in the container and buzz it up till it's it's fine. Uh, we're using all of our products and instead of throwing away those ends and pieces we, we can use them for something that actually you know enhance a dish. The ease of this basil froth it's there's two ingredients there's half and half and and basil. You're adding uh, the basil into your standard container and buzz it up to, once again, you're making a puree. Strain that out to get all your, your basil bits and pieces out. Um, and then you have this flavored uh, half and half milk, essentially. Because the, the ingredients are hot, add them in, add it slow, and then slowly turn up your, your dial to about seven or so. There is other ways to make that, that milk froth. I mean, you can run over to your cappuccino machine if you have one and make a big old mess and then have to clean all those parts. Or you can simply add it to the aerating container and it'll happen in 10 seconds. So what we, you take your uh, nice and hot shrimp toast right off the griddle. Your shrimp paste has been cooked. It's all nice and crispy. Uh, then you'll cut it into manageable bite-sized portions, whatever, whatever size and shape you like. Uh, we'll take some of that chivo we made for, once again, mostly for visual and a little bit of, of that onion flavor without being overbearing, kind of around the dish. From there, we like to garnish with, you can use whatever herbs you'd like. And then a little sea salt, some shaved serranos. And then from there, you'll take your froth and once it's nice and uh, settled, I guess, and dab it wherever you like. And here's our Texas shrimp toast, made it in the Vitamix VP3.